Health Talk Live with Liz, sponsored by TriHealth. Afternoon, everyone. In today's Health Talk Live, if you haven't gotten the COVID-19 vaccine yet, TriHealth infectious disease specialists have a few things you may want to consider, especially as the demand slows down. Well, we have more vaccines than people who want to take the vaccine right now, so there's plenty of vaccine available. If you're ready, come on down and we'll get you a vaccine. As an infection protection person, I'm guessing this is probably the worst thing that could happen. Yeah, really, um, at this point, we need to get more people vaccinated so we can get closer to herd immunity where the entire community is protected. It's really about all of us working together to protect the community. You know, I read some research that said, well, we all know that we should do it for the good of everyone until we feel that there's more of a risk from the virus than the vaccine, we likely won't step it up. So talk to me about some of those risks that we might not even know about. Well, I mean, for people who've been very good about isolating themselves, the, you know, older people, people with immune suppressing conditions, they maybe haven't seen the bad outcomes that we've seen in the hospital because they've been so good at, at isolating themselves. But now if you're getting out in the community, you're going to the grocery store, people aren't going to be wearing their masks anymore and we don't know who's been vaccinated and who's not been vaccinated. It's really important that you get a vaccine to protect yourself. We still are seeing people admitted to the hospital dying from this disease and having bad outcomes. The vaccine is incredibly safe and protective. It's time to get it if you're out in the community. And one of the things that I know some people said sort of convinced them that there might be a problem was that some people got through it just fine and then six months later couldn't breathe. Yeah, so we're seeing people with long-term sequelae of having had COVID infection and maybe those people weren't even very sick with the initial infection. So people with uh, profound excess fatigue, people with mild confusion, people with heart irregularities. So all of these long-term complications of having COVID infection can be prevented by getting the vaccine. And so you don't want to get this post-acute sequelae of COVID, that's the name of this syndrome, uh, by getting the infection. You want to get the vaccine to prevent the infection. Okay, and then one of the things I heard sort of set us back was we had a pause with Johnson & Johnson. We were exploring something, and if you were on the fence, I'm told that did not help. So what are we learning about those rare blood clots? Yeah, so the blood clotting issue is very, very rare. Uh, and only with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, not with the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. And uh, that, that clotting process probably is related to an immune-mediated antibody that is triggered somehow in a rare person that causes the blood clotting system to be overactive and, and cause blood clots. So I notice now you can get the vaccine of choice. So should you just go and get a different vaccine if you're concerned about that? Oh, I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you would prefer to have the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine, call wherever you're going to get the vaccine and tell them you'd prefer to have that one. Good advice for all of us. And if you would like to schedule a vaccine, you can call the TriHealth team at 513-86-COVID. That's 513-862-6843.